Good morning everyone, my name's Trevor. Welcome back to the Art of Vet YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna dive back into our Bible and start reading chapter 11 of Genesis. So Genesis 11, we're gonna be reading that. But real quick, I wanna let you guys know that if you wanna join along with reading reading along this Bible with us, you can get this same exact Bible in the link down below. So check the description. And you guys can order that through Amazon. We are an affiliate, so that, that does help us out. On these videos, we don't do ads because you know what? This is God's work, this is God's word, and we want to share it with everybody and anybody, and we don't want them to be scared away by an ad. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. So in Genesis 11, the Tower of Babel, now the whole earth had one language and the same words. And as people migrated from the east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. And they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick of, uh, for stone and bitumen for mortar then they said come let us build ourselves a city and a tower with its tops in the heavens and let us make a name for ourselves lest we be dispersed over the face of the whole earth and the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of man had built and the Lord said behold there they are one people and they have all one language and this is only the beginning of what they will do and nothing that they propose to do will now be impossible for them come let us go down and and there confuse their language so that they may not understand one another's speech so the Lord dispersed from there over the face of all the earth and they left off building the city therefore its name was called Babel because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth and from the Lord dispersed them over the face of all the earth Shem's descendants there are these are the generations of Shem when Shem was a hundred years old he fathered I'm gonna do terrible pronouncing these names, just prepare. <laughs> Arapachad, two years after the flood, and Shem, Shem lived after his father, after he fathered Arapachad 500 years and had other sons and daughters. When Arapachad had lived 35 years, he'd fathered Shila, 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 and Arpeshed, Arpeshed, lived another. Lived after he fathered Shela four hundred and three years and had other sons and daughters. When Shela had lived thirty years, he'd fathered Eber, Eber, Eber. I'm gonna say Eber. And Sh Shalah, maybe it's Shalah, lived after he fathered Eber 403 years and had other sons and daughters. When Eber had lived 34 years, he fathered Pelig, Pelig, Pelig? and Eber lived after he fathered Pelig 430 years and had sons and daughters. Other sons and daughters. When Pelig, Pelig, Peleg, Peleg, had lived 30 years, he fathered Ru, Ru, uh, Ru, <laughs> the, and Peleg lived after he fathered Ru 209 years and had, he had other sons and daughters. When Ru had lived 32 years, he fathered Seguru, Serug, Serug? 
Saruj. Ah, that just didn't sound right. And Ray lived after he fathered Saruj 207 years and had other sons and daughters. When Saruj had lived 30 years, he'd fathered Nor, Nor, Nor. And Saruj lived after he fathered Norad 200 years and had other sons and daughters. When Norad lived 29 years, he'd fathered Terra. And Noah, Nora, Nora lived after he fathered Terra 119 years and uh, had other sons and daughters. When Terra lived 70 years, he fathered Abram, Norad, Nora, and, and Haran. This is building out the descendants, even more so from the nations of Noah, which sure is, was chapter 10. You guys can go back and watch that if you want to. Terah's descendants now are the generations of Terah. Terah fathered Ab Abram, Nora, and Haran, and Haran fathered Lot. Haran died in the presence of his father Terah in the land of his Kinder in Ur of Chad Chaldlands Chaldlands An Arab Abram Oh my goodness See how I, I can't Be so bad with this An Ab Abram Abram Oh man <laughs> And Nor Noro Nora Naro. It's got to be Naro. Right? Took wives. The names of <clears throat> Abram's wives wife was Sarah Sarai Sari and the name of Nair's wife Milcha the daughter of Haran the father of Miltra and is a uh, now Sari Sari Sarai I would say it's Sari was barren she had no kids no children Terah took Abram his son and Lot the son of Haran his grandson and Sari his granddaughter his daughter-in-law his son Abram's wife and they went forth together from Ura of Childrens, Ch Childrens, Childrens, man, to go into the land of Canaan. But when they came home to, when they came to Haran, they settled there. The days of Terran, Terra, were 205 years and Terra died in Haran. So that kind of gives us a view into how long they were living and how that number started to go down. So if we go to the beginning of Shem, he was a hundred years old, had his son. And he lived for another 500 years after that. So that's 600 years, right? But then we get down to the end of this line where Terah had lived 205 years after his children, right? Or he didn't. So... We st we're starting to see this trend <laughs> Don't mind my phone We're starting to see this trend Of life expectancy Go from this And it's shrinking And it's shrinking And I've had a question About this before Is why were we able to live For so long Back then But now our life expectancy You know I'm, I, to be honest I don't even know what it is if you hit a hundred like that's pretty amazing but from reading the Bible it 
God had seen that we were living in sin and he didn't want man to live in sin that long. And so our life expectancy started to shorten. And I mean, here we are today where I feel like a hundred year old, a hundred years old is like, dude, that's amazing. That's awesome. Because we seem to, you know, have loss all the time at any age. And me personally, I'll be happy if I can make it to 92 because 92 is halfway to 99. And if you understand that, go ahead and drop a comment down below. I'll add you on RuneScape. That's where it comes from. <laughs> it's, it's a thing. <clears throat> Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. S click that red subscribe button. Ring that bell so you're notified when we have uploads. And we will see you in another video later on. Have a great day, a great night, and God bless. Thank you, Jesus. Don't ever give up. God is here with you. Yeah. You are a child. Nothing but love is true. This God is fixing you. Keep your eyes on the prize. That's life everlasting. Only through Jesus Christ. He came to die.